Hey there, Capricorn, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your mid-month reading. This is going to be a reading for October 15th through the 31st. We're going to take a look at your past, present, and your near future energies. Also, Cappy, if this reading resonates and you would like even more free bonus readings, make sure to subscribe to my email list. I send out free extended readings every Monday. You can subscribe in the description box below. Um, yes, every new readings every single Monday only to my email list subscribers. You cannot get these readings anywhere else. Okay, main energy for your reading this month is the death, bottom of the deck, you get the three of wands. You are constantly in this like anticipatory energy waiting for something to end. And I don't know why, because it doesn't seem like it's ending, at least not on the surface. Um, the person that you're dealing with can be any sign. I don't see any specific sign here except for Scorpio, but obviously they can be any sign. In the recent past, you get the six of cups, the eight of wands, and the queen of swords. There's a soul connection here showing up for you in the recent past. And this connection feels good. It feels great. And I can see that you're communicating this to this person. You're really not holding back here. You're letting them know, hey, this is how I feel. This is how you make me feel. You know, good vibes, good, good energy. But you're still closed off here emotionally. It's almost like you're guarding yourself emotionally a little bit. You're trying to be like practical and logical, which again is code word for I'm trying to guard myself, but I don't know why, because these are such positive energies, so hopeful, so optimistic. We'll see. In the current situation, you get the Three of Cups, Ten of Cups, Page of Wands. Come on. Like, this is so fun. This is so beautiful. You love spending time with this person. Every time you guys spend time together, they just make you so, so happy. And Ten of Cups is one of the happiest cards in the entire deck, and there's a lot of, like, fun, playful energy. You guys are, like, two peas in a pod, like, two kids, right? It doesn't take a lot to make you happy. It doesn't take a lot to give you guys, like, to enjoy each other's company, and I keep getting the word good vibes. I don't know why. Like, I don't know why, but you guys have such good energy together. In the near future, you get the High Priestess, the Seven of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Your intuition is trying to communicate with you that your guards, your walls, not necessary here. But you're showing me, no, no, they are necessary because they make me feel good. They make me feel safe. They make me feel protected. So we will see if you listen to your intuition in the near future or not. Let's take a look at the death, which is the main energy for your reading this month. This month. I meant for mid-month, but I'm just going to say this month because if I have to say mid-month every time, it's just too much. Too many words. Wow. The death is clarified by the judgment, the chariot, and the empress. These are all major arcana cards. Big, big, big energies happening for you this month, Capricorn. Um, here's the thing. You're showing me that you want to resurrect something and you want to resurrect it fast. Something ended, a connection ended, something ended, whether it's a phase in this relationship, the whole connection, take it as it resonates. You want to bring it back and you're like, let's make it snappy. I don't want to be waiting two weeks, three weeks, a month. I want this now. I want to resurrect this now. Um, this person is very important to you. They are very significant to you. Like you're showing me they're my empress and I don't assign gender to my cards. You don't care like what you need to do or how to make it happen. You want this to happen real quick. Um, this person is very important to you. And the energies that you have tied up to them and to this connection over the next couple of weeks are very intense. They're major arcana. These are not light energies. These are not easy energies. These are powerful energies. Lucky for you, these are very, very positive. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the Six of Cups in the recent past. Six of Cups is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. You're showing me that you and this person are a divine match, practically, here in the 3D world. Not energetically, not, you know, oh, uh, there's passion, there's, no, like, we make sense. We fit, like, two puzzle pieces here in the 3D world. And you're showing me this is a soul connection. At least that's what you think. But at the same time, you're also questioning it. You're doubting it. You're showing me, like, I know that we're a match made in heaven, but are we? But maybe we're not. Now, I don't know why you're doubting it. It could be because you guys are, things ended, there was a separation, a break. I'm not really sure. Um, but you're definitely doubting something, which I can see it. You and this person are a divine match. So why the doubt? Hmm. Interesting, Cappy. Let's take a look at the Eight of Wands in the recent past. 
Eight of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Swords, the ten, oh, the Two of Swords, sorry, and the Ten of Cups. You get the Ten of Cups in the same row in the current situation. You and this person communicated, right? You guys are talking. It's not like there's complete radio silence. You guys are still talking to some degree, but it's almost like the more you try to talk, the reason you're trying to talk to them is to get clarity, to get an understanding of where you're at, where they're at, what they want, where this is going, yada, yada, yada. The more you talk to them, the more confused you end up being. But you're showing me, but it still makes me very happy to talk to them, right? Like anytime you guys have a conversation, you're showing me the 10 of cups. And so having these conversations makes you very, very happy. But on the other hand, they're also very, very counterintuitive or counterproductive, sorry, because you're coming in and you're like, okay, we're going to talk. We're going to get to the bottom of this. I'm going to figure out where they're at, what they want, what I want. And then you end up leaving this conversation more confused than you were to begin with. Now, you get the hermit at the bottom of the deck. I do feel like you're kind of keeping this to yourself. I don't feel like you're coming out to your person and being like, hey, you're confusing me with the more, like the more we talk, the more I'm like with question marks. Um, I do feel like that's more so you keeping it to yourself. Let's take a look at the Queen of Swords in the recent past. Queen of Swords is clarified by the death, which is the main energy for your reading, the Celestial Weaver and the Six of Cups. You also got the Six of Cups in the recent past. This is a soul connection for you, okay? But, but... There are two parts of you which are kind of at odds right now. If you look at this completely logically, right, if you had no skin in the game and it was just, you know, you were like a robot and you looked at the facts between you and this person, you'd come to the conclusion of like, yeah, we're done. This is done. This is over. It's done. Like this soul connection is done, dead, over with. But there's another part of you which is very, very intuitive and very connected to your higher self and your intuition. And you're showing me that part of me doesn't feel like it's done. And it's not that you're like, um, you know, hopeful. You're showing me like, I just genuinely don't feel like this is done. This is a soul connection. And I'm here to tell you, Cappy, that you're right. It's not done because the universe is essentially saying you're at a crossroads right now. What you focus your energy on, that's what you're going to get out of this connection. If you believe that it's done, you're going to go down the path of it being done. If you believe that it's not done and you guys can resurrect this, you're going to go down that path, right? And so it's really kind of up to you to what you believe. Your brain is telling you it's done, it's done, give it up. Your heart, your intuition is telling you something completely different. And the universe is telling you both are right. It's up to you to choose which one you want to be correct and which one you want to manifest here in the 3D world for you. Let's look at the current situation. I want to see what the Three of Cups is all about. Three of Cups is clarified by the King of Wands, the Justice, and the Seven of Pentacles. You love spending time with this person, okay? You really, really do. And you're very attracted to them. You're very, very drawn to them. But you keep getting confused by them. This person is definitely sending you mixed messages when you guys hang out versus when you don't, when you talk versus when you don't. And you're trying, at least in the current situation, to figure out how to get to this place of balance. You don't want mixed messages. You don't want back and forth. You don't want up and down. You want clarity. You want to know exactly where you stand with this person, exactly how they feel, exactly where they see this connection going but you're not getting that out of them. You are spending time with them. I do see you at least enjoying their company, whatever amount of that company you can get, but you are still very confused. And I have to be honest, Cappy, it's because this person's giving you mixed messages. They're not being like very upfront and straightforward with you and kind of like direct and to the point. They're not. I don't know why they're not, but they're not. Let's look at the 10 of cups in the current situation. Ten of Cups is clarified by the Ten of Swords, the Emperor, and the Tower. What happened? What happened? You get the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. It seems like somebody, I don't know if this is you or your person, somebody's making this like executive decision to just be like, it's done. And this ending, this I'm done, is coming out of nowhere. So I don't know if you suddenly had this like, aha moment where you're like you know what I'm done with this I'm done 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 and you decide to end it or if your person out of nowhere comes up and is like hey I'm done I'm over like forget it um because you're showing me I was happy and then instantly I was not but I can't tell if you're the one that made this executive decision or if it's your person let's clarify and see we'll keep on moving and we'll see let's take a look at the page of wands in the current situation
Page of Wands is clarified by the Nine of Cups, the Three of Swords, and the Moon. You're trying to remain hopeful. You really are. I don't know what this is, but it's almost like you're getting this glimpse of, okay, this might be done, this might be done, but you're still hopeful here because you're showing me I'm not like I'm not giving up on this. I'm still holding on to hope. I'm still hopeful that, you know, we can get back to this place of emotional balance. You are carrying a lot of pain, though, Cappy, tied up to this person and this connection because there's so many things which are unclear. Again, this person is not very forthcoming with you. They're not very straightforward. They're like, look, Cappy, this is how I'm feeling. This is what I want. Are you on board? Are you not? It's all very, very vague and mysterious. And it's kind of like, you know, you're walking around in like a dark room and you have to like fumble around to figure out like what this person wants and how they feel. Um, this seems really unfair to you if I'm being honest, but again, I'm only getting one side of the energies. So yeah, let's take a look at the near future. I want to see the high priestess. Oh, okay. I usually only take three cards before it came out. So the high priestess in the near future, you get the 10 of pentacles, the ace of wands, the seven of wands and the five of wands. Now I understand why four came out. Your intuition is literally split. You are usually very, very intuitive. In the near future, you're having a very hard time even connecting and listening to your intuition because it is literally split. On the one hand, you're like, this is a connection. We're going to be in each other's lives forever and ever. We're going to rekindle this. This is a stable, successful connection. We're just going through a road bump, a, a little bump in the road. On the other hand, you're like, I'm being met with so much resistance from this person. It's never easy. It never flows. There's constantly this like confusion as to where I'm at, where they're at, what they want, where is this going, da da da, da right? And so you're very, very conflicted about that because you're like, if this was meant to happen, if we're meant to be in each other's lives and we're meant to be this like soul connection that I think we are, why are there so much, like, why is there so much resistance? Why is this not more easygoing? Why is this not flowing better, right? And I get that. But in the near future, you're showing me, I can't even figure out what my intuition is telling me because it's literally telling me both things. Ooh, that's frustrating. Um, let's take a look at the seven of wands because you get it again here in the near future. Seven of wands is clarified by the three of wands, the hierophant, and the queen of cups. You're showing me, I know that there are a lot of walls. There's a lot of resistance that you're dealing with. Sorry, I just have to adjust in my chair. There's a lot of resistance that you're dealing with here in the near future when it comes to this connection, specifically when it comes to commitment in this connection. But you're showing me, I know it'll get resolved. I know it's only a matter of time until this person puts their walls down and I'm not going to be met with so many walls and I'm not going to be met with so much resistance from them. And I'm like, how are you so confident, Cappy? Like, how do you know? And you're showing me because we love each other. Because I love this person. They love me. Like, I know that. I don't care if they're guarded, I don't care if I have to deal with all this frustration. Like I know the love is still there and that's what's keeping me going. And that's how I know we're going to find our way back to each other. It is only a matter of time. Let's take a look at the six of wands in the near future. Six of wands is clarified by the queen of swords, the fool and the knight of cups. Yeah. Yeah. You're really not giving up hope. Bottom of the deck, you get the two of cups. And what's beautiful here is you're showing me like, I know this for a fact. It's not I'm hoping. It's not maybe. It's not, you know, maybe this will shit. No, it's like you're showing me. I know black and white. We will find our way back to each other. We will able, we will be able to wipe the slate clean, start from scratch. All it takes is just love. All it takes is for one of us to just come out of their little comfort zone and be like, here, here's my cup of love. Take it. And that's really all you feel like you need here. <sighs> I really do hope so, Cappy, because you're coming in with such good vibes. And the thing that for me, like I'm having a hard time with is that this person is not being forthcoming. They're not being straight up with you in terms of what they want. Like, tell me what you want and I'll decide if it works for me. But don't just like leave me in the dark here. Right. And that's kind of what this person's doing. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind for this reading. From the universe, you get the Queen of Cups, the Empress, and the Ten of Pentacles, all cards you got in this reading. Yeah, this is a long-term stable connection. The energy is available for this to be a very successful connection as well. And you love this person, and they love you just as much. As difficult as they are, as confusing as they are, the love is very, very much there. And I can also see how significant they are to you, how important they are to you. 
Interesting. I really do hope this works out, Cappy. I really, really do. Um, but that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you here on the next one.